So here we are, Cali, Colombia. Let's talk about it. So I'm, in this video, I'm just going to give you an overall introduction and overview of uh, the lifestyle here in Cali, the feeling, the vibe, the curves. And I concur, Cali has curves. So let's jump into the video. But before we do that, make sure you don't miss anything. Watch till the end. What's up, folks? Rich's Method, back at it again. All right, so before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, yeah, like early, share, Go ahead and share this on Facebook or any other social medias. And uh, as we go through after you've checked out the video, be sure to drop a comment. Let me know what's on your mind. For anybody who has done the super thanks and for anybody who has done the cash app, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. And also, guys, don't forget to go check out my ebooks and audio books on payhip.com slash riches method. Let's go. First, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick comparison between Cali and Medellin, right? One of the first things you'll notice when you hit Cali is that the, the wet is different. It's a little bit more hotter, a little more tropical. Medellin's got this thing where it's kind of really cool in the morning and the nighttime, and then it goes up during the day. It also rains a lot more in Medellin. Cali's got more of that Caribbean kind of a feel, more of that Dominican Republic kind of a weather. It's definitely could be hot depending on the apartment that you get. Just like in Medellin, Many of the times if you get an apartment that's higher up, the sun will hit the apartment during the day, make it extremely hot, but then it'll be cold at night. Cali, not really that way. So I prefer warmer, even temperature. So I'm appreciating the temperature and the weather here in Cali. Second thing you'll notice is that it's a lot more walkable. So Medellin is more in a valley. So you got a lot of hills depending on the area that you're in. Um, it's a lot more up and down walking, right? Especially if you're in El Poblado. The, uh, some of the areas like, like Lassa Center is actually a little flatter, but you know, you gotta like choose the areas very carefully. Whereas here in Cali, man, it's not that kind of a valley kind of a built. So you got a lot more flat terrain. The two cities got a different vibe to it. You got a lot more industrial kind of a feel to Medellin, more like a New York. Whereas Cali's got more of a I don't know, to me it's a mixed weird vibe. Kind of like a Santo Domingo feel if you're not in Dominican Republic, if you're not in such of a great uh, if you, neighborhood, <laughs> let's put it that way, if you're closer to a barrio area, which you can find just walking a few more blocks away from a nice neighborhood, right? So that's like a New York kind of a thing. But yeah, it got more of a Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic vibe in the hood areas, with a not too great look in some areas. But then you also got a nice Orlando, Florida kind of a vibe in the good neighborhoods, right? It's kind of like a really nice neighborhood in Brooklyn kind of a vibe, but a lot more trees, a lot more tropical. That'd be the best way to describe that if you guys have ever been to a nice place in Brooklyn, New York, or a nice spot in Orlando, kind of like a bellow kind of a vibe to it. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I did a bellow video of Medellin, so that'd be my comparisons. It's a lot more tranquil, a little bit more relaxed, not as much of a busy city kind of a vibe. If you're looking to have a calmer environment, not too much of a big city feel in danger, Cali might be a spot in Southern Cali. When it comes to activities, this is the capital of salsa over here. So if you're into salsa, you got a lot of salsa schools, you got a lot of salsa clubs, uh, you could enjoy that. When it comes to the variety of different areas you can go to to enjoy, that seems to be a little bit less. When I'm here, I'm probably gonna check out a rio that they have, which is basically means a river, if I get a chance. This video you're looking at is Plaza or Jardin Plaza, which is like a, if you want a, a small mall plaza, if you want to put it that way, compared to big cities in America, it's smaller, but it's got a huge grocery store, which is Jumbo, and that'll be similar to your Walmart or your Target. You've got a H&M, you've got a lot of different stores, but you also got something that over here that's similar to a Home Depot, right? They got a huge home supplies store, movie theaters, the whole nine yards. I'm most likely going to give you guys in, on another video a walking tour of Plaza Jardin. But for right now, this is just an introduction to the vibe, the feel, the style, what it's like enjoying time here in Cali. The other thing is English. Even coming in from the airport, 
the taxi driver that I got through Uber, because Uber here has a function of taxi as well as a regular Uber driver. So I got a regular yellow taxi. The driver said he didn't really speak English, but trust me, within the ride, a whole bunch of English popped up. Then I was pleasantly surprised when I got to the Airbnb, tried to ask a question about the door in Spanish. There was a girl sitting there talking to a guy. She realized, okay, this guy's Spanish, has a different accent. She asked me where I'm from, and quickly switched to English, helped me out a little bit. Just exploring, I walked to a local liquor store that's not too far from me on the next block. And the guy, I speak Spanish, so the guy, the guy spoke to me in Spanish, but after a little while, he just asked me where I'm from in Spanish, and then switched to English. And I told him I'm from America. So there is pe- there, are, there are people here who speak English, especially if you're in more of the upscale area I want to say middle class or rich areas here in Cali right I'm sure there's probably richer areas so if you don't speak Spanish can you still move around with your Google translator yes does the city give a vibe that's a lot safer than Medellin I'm gonna say it depends on where you are in the neighborhood I'm from New York so I'm gonna treat everywhere I go the same way if it's any major city with a large population Depending on where I'm walking, where I'm going, what I'm doing, I'm always going to watch my back. If you go in the areas where you're not supposed to be, absolutely it's not going to be safe for you. If you stay within your boundaries, it's going to be safe for you. So I'll treat it just like I used to treat New York. So far, so good. And definitely a lot of uh, turning heads when you're here in Cali, Colombia, for any single man. So I have to say that... I concur, Cali definitely has curves. With that said, that's it for today. See you guys on the next one.